On this Independence Day, Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveiled one of the boldest defense initiatives in India's history, Mission Sudarshan Chakra. Sounds mythological, well, yes, the name is. But in reality, it's not a spinning golden disc from mythology, it's a vision. A vision to shield India from every possible threat, missiles, drones, anything coming from the skies. And yes, even from those who believe, nuclear blackmail is still relevant in the 21st century. Basically, a defense system that will be designed to turn billion-dollar missiles into nothing more than cheap fireworks. And here's the big twist. While it's a dream for India, it's a nightmare for the US. Washington never wanted India leaning toward Russia, yet its own behavior pushed New Delhi even closer to Moscow, from tariffs on Indian goods to open support for Pakistan. Trump proved that the US can never truly be anyone's friend or partner. That chapter is closed, at least for now, because in Mission Sudarshan Chakra, Russia has thrown its full weight to the project, backing it with technology, co-development, and even intelligence support. So, what exactly is Mission Sudarshan Chakra? By 2035, the goal is clear, a multi-layered national security shield protecting everything, from hospitals, to railways, to sacred places. A system packed with advanced air and missile defense, precision strike capability, AI-driven threat assessment, seamless integration with Indian-made weapons and sensors, and a nationwide security grid. In short, India's very own Iron Dome, but bigger, bolder, and fully indigenous. Once this system comes online, enemies will start sweating. Why it matters? It's about strategic autonomy. India won't need to grovel for fads or settle for expensive knockoffs of Iron Dome. Their missile stockpiles will lose effectiveness against a functional Indian shield. Pakistan's entire military strategy relies on missiles and nuclear threats. Imagine a poor country wasting billions on missiles only to find that India's Sudarshan Chakra can zap them mid-air like mosquitoes. Their so-called nuclear blackmail card, useless. Beijing may flaunt hypersonic bragging rights, but the moment India rolls out its counter shield, it will break China's monopoly in Asia. And jealousy will mix with insecurity, especially since Russia is choosing to strengthen India's hand rather than China's. Space dominance, India proved its ASAP capability in 2019, with Mission Shakti. Sudarshan Chakra isn't an ASAT shield yet, but its tech could easily evolve to protect satellites, and take out enemy ones if needed. Washington's frustration will be obvious. It wanted India locked into American systems. But New Delhi is choosing Russia instead, that's independence at its finest. With Moscow's backing, India is showing it won't be tied to any bloc, and definitely won't be told what to buy, or whom to call a friend. Roman Babushkin, Russia's charged affair in India, confirmed that Russian technology will play a role in Sudarshan Chakra, just as the S-400 missile systems already did, during recent hostilities with Pakistan in May this year. Once again, Moscow is proving why it has been New Delhi's most trusted defense ally for decades. But defense isn't the only front where India and Russia are standing together. Energy cooperation is another. India has become the largest buyer of Russian oil, with imports jumping from just 1.7% in 2020 to over 35% today. This makes Moscow India's top energy supplier. And the US response, tariffs. President Donald Trump has slapped a 50% tariff on Indian goods including a 25% reciprocal tariff, plus an additional 25% penalty, specifically linked to the oil trade. However, Babushkin has made it clear, Moscow has a special mechanism to help India withstand these sanctions. Even with Washington's unjustified pressure, and without blackmailing other countries with tariffs, money keeps flowing into India. In fact, Russia is offering India a 5% discount on crude oil. Not only that, Moscow is opening its markets to Indian exports hit by US tariffs. 
China is also stepping in, welcoming Indian goods like textiles, iron ore, and agricultural products, boosting trade opportunities. And Japan, right on cue with PM Modi's visit, has pledged a 10 trillion yen investment, that's $68 billion, over the next decade. In other words, if Washington tries to squeeze India, but other countries are ready to cushion the blow. So Mission Sudarshan Chakra isn't just about missiles and radars. It's about a future where India cannot be cornered, pressured, or threatened, the era of dependence is over, and the Sudarshan Chakra is turning.